happy rest of your Thursday. So we met live this morning, but because I know that usually I don't end up posting a noon check-in or the evening on Thursdays, I'm going to do them recorded. I know it's not the same as live, but would you rather have it recorded or not at all? You let me know, and then that will make my decision. So with that, I will make sure I put a timestamp for the evening wrapping it up in the comments below or in the description below all right guys so here we go self-assess where is your Thursday how are you headed is it going good is it going not so good what can you do to change it what is there anything to change maybe it's going really well and you don't even need to think about it you're just moseying along and having a good time are you drinking your water are you eating your meals are you going for a walk? Are you doing movement? Are you doing a pamper? How are you doing right now? Are you feeling overwhelmed or maybe not so much? I mean, where are you at? Don't forget to do a quick pickup put away if it's on your to-do list, just a reminder that sometimes picking up throughout the day releases the burden from the evening. So let's just put on a song and go. You can do it. The laundry circle that never ends. Was this your reminder that, oh yeah, I had something sitting in the dryer and I forgot about it. Or, oh yeah, I needed to switch it to the dryer. There's your reminder, keep that circle going because as we know, a circle does not end. And neither does laundry. So don't forget to clean your kitchen after lunch you don't want to no matter how minimal you don't want to have these dishes stacking up for you come dinner so get it taken out especially if on a whim you guys decide to go out for dinner you don't want to be coming home to lunch dishes so just take care of them right away and then you're golden last but not least on the noon check-in part is your dirt cleaning the dirt cleaning for today, for Thursday. In the bathroom is your what do you want to change list. You're not actually doing any cleaning in the bathroom. You're looking around going, what would you like to change? Like for me, unlimited money, right, and time. I would love for my floor to get finished. I would like new molding. I would love a new sink. I would love a new shower. A minimal look decent shower curtain. I would love to paint the walls and want new storage in there. Okay, I guess it sounds like I want a whole brand new bathroom. Yeah, well, I do. All right, in the office, you're going to finish off anything left on the top of the desk. If the top of your desk looks good, take a look at underneath your desk. Sometimes we just happen to shove stuff down there or maybe look at a drawer in your desk or on the sides of your desk and take a look there and see if there's anything that you can do for live that home life we're looking at some dusting today in the bathroom in the laundry room in the office um shed uh basement did i say garage already um the utility room spaces so take a look there all right, we are close enough to four that that's where I will mark it down for the evening routine. All right, so assess today. Be honest with yourself. Where are you at right now? Is it where you wanted to be today? Or do we need to chalk today up as a learning experience? Do we need to maybe make our goals smaller? Were they the correct size? Do we need to just let it go? Remember, that's my theme song, let it go. So just really look at what today gave you, what you learned from it, and take it from there. We need to next check our calendar and the forecast, which will lead us to be able to do these four things. Plan dinner for tomorrow. Make sure the meal matches the day. Okay, if you've got an extremely busy Friday, don't make the meal 
extremely elaborate. That's just not common sense. Unless you can do a ton of prep and then you don't have to worry about it. So, and remember, it's okay if you're going halfway through the day and go, you know what, I want to order pizza in. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay to change your mind. It's all right. Don't forget to set up your launch pad for Friday. Your purse, your wallet, your keys, your phone, your charger, your planner, um, your computer. Make sure all devices are charged, ready to go. So that way you can start the day without even having to think about it. After all, that's what we're trying to do, right? Make this all automatic. Set your goals or start thinking about your goals. There might be stuff that you already know you want to change or you know you want to do. Get those written down. If right now is not the optimal brain power moment, don't worry about it, okay? We all have our our power time at different times throughout the day. You just want to take advantage of it when you have it. And of course, lay out your clothes. Yes, I don't care if you're working from home. I don't care if you aren't even working from home, you're just staying at home. We should lay out our clothes because it makes us proactive in the day that we're about to come to. So let's get that done. It can be shorts and a t-shirt. I really don't care. It could be pajamas for all I care. As long as they're a different set of pajamas than what you're wearing to bed tonight. All right? All right, great. Pick up, put away. Hit your impact areas. Those areas that make you smile when they're clean. Those areas that talk to you. Get those, if not done, better. Put on a song, get the song going, and go. All right? Your laundry circle is calling. Does it need attending to? Or are we paused? Keep the laundry moving. Thank you. You will thank yourself for that. Now, all of that can be done even before dinner. There is no reason to save all of this until after dinner when you want to relax because you've had a long day and you're tired and everything else like that. And this braid is like, there we go. Um, you want to relax, you're tired, so get as much done before dinner as you can. Then, before you leave the kitchen, because once you sit down and start relaxing, the chances diminish by the minute of you getting back into the kitchen. Do your final kitchen clean. If you need to, make it a family affair. I know. I'm pretty much asking for world peace right there, right? But try and make it a family affair if it's too much for you. Have one kid load the dishwasher, one kid wipe off the table and the counters and sweep the floor and stuff like that. It can be done with limited inconvenience for all, all right? As soon as you're done with that, go get ready for bed. Wash your face, brush your teeth, floss, mouthwash. That way you don't have to worry about it when the time comes, when it's time to go to bed, just in case you fell out of sleep on the sofa or you don't have the water waking you back up, right? We don't want that. Or just so that way it's done. So that way if you're sitting and you're watching a movie and all of a sudden you realize you're really tired, sometimes people have a tendency to say, I'll just brush my teeth in the morning. No, don't say that. Go brush them right after dinner. Plus, then that way, snacks are limited to water. Because it's not healthy to eat late at night. So, there you go. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I will see you guys in a recorded video tomorrow morning. And then on Saturday morning. And then I will be back live Sunday morning. Have a great one. Bye.